We're up to instruction number 12, What is the Ego? from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. What is the ego is what we've been waiting for, right? We'd like to understand what is going on. There are 14 instructions in part two of the workbook. They come between every 10 lessons. So this instruction covers lessons 331 through 340, and we're told to do them every day along with um, the actual lessons. So that would be instruction number 12 every day as you do lessons 331 through 340. And now let's read, what is the ego? The ego is idolatry. The sign of limited and separated self born in a body, doomed to suffer, and to end its life in death. It is the will, the quote-unquote will, that sees the will of God as enemy and takes a form in which it is denied. The ego is the quote-unquote proof that strength is weak and love is fearful, life is really death, and what opposes God alone is true. Hmm. The ego is insane. <laughs> In fear, it stands beyond the everywhere, apart from all. In separation from the infinite. In its insanity, it thinks it has become a victor over God himself. And in its terrible autonomy, it quote-unquote, sees the will of God has been destroyed. It dreams of punishment and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its enemies, who seek to murder it before it can ensure its safety by attacking them. The Son of God is egoless. What can he know of madness and the death of God when he abides in him? What can he know of sorrow and of suffering when he lives in eternal joy? What can he know of fear and punishment, of sin and guilt, of hatred and attack, when all there is surrounding him is everlasting peace, forever conflict-free and undisturbed, in deepest silence and tranquility? To know reality is not to see the ego in its thoughts, its works, its acts, its laws, and its beliefs, its dreams, its hopes, its plans for its salvation, and the cost belief in it entails. In suffering, the price for faith in it is so immense that crucifixion of the Son of God is offered daily at its darkened shrine and blood must flow before the altar where its sickly followers prepare to die. Yet will one lily of forgiveness change the darkness into light, the altar to illusions, to the shrine of life itself, and peace will be restored forever to the holy minds which God created as his son, his dwelling place, his joy, his love, completely his, completely one with him. That's instruction number 12, what is the ego, in part two of the workbook, to be done with lessons 331 through 340. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresacing.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.